Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 15th July 2017. I am Sagan Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, a company registered in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, or more importantly, how Superior Profit can help in your own trading, you may visit the website www.superiorprofit.co and click on the About menu. Before we begin, let us go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profit's trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In today's topic, as usual, we will analyze oil, gold, India's nifty future, and few forex pairs using Q Global technical charts. We'll also do the same for USA broad market ETFs, SPY, QQQ, DIA, and IWM. Before going into broad market internal analysis, sector and industry analysis using graphs and ranking table. Along the way, we may look at some of the trades posted in the traders community since our last class, and we will look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. I will now move to live system. We start with US oil. We have been tracking US oil in our last two classes. Initially, we mentioned that it was overbought, indicated by the stretch dot on top of the daily candle. And we said that is not an optimal place to buy US oil. Subsequently, we discussed that if US oil came down and tilted up, it would give us a go with flow trend following long trade opportunity. That opportunity came this week at this cyan color candle. We could take a long trade right at the close of that candle, placing stop just below recent low and setting our profit target to the declining yellow direction line or the watermark resistance level. As of Friday, as price came very close to those target levels, we would book profit in US oil swing trade. At the right end of the chart, US oil is overbought again as indicated by the stretch dot on the candle. So we will refrain from taking any trade as of Friday's close. We now look at gold. In the last session, we had discussed that if price went below this watermark support level and went back up, then we might have a sideways market box long trade opportunity. That opportunity came on this yellow candle. You could take the trade at the end of this day or you could take the trade next day using real time fine-tuned chart. It was also accompanied by heavy activity in the daily chart. Since then, price has gone up. At the right edge of the chart, gold has already moved up significantly. So we will not look for taking any long trade right now. From here, if gold tilted down and then went back up, it would give us a go with flow long trade opportunity and we may wait for that. Let's now move to India's Nifty Futures. India's Nifty Futures is going up with higher lows 
it was moving somewhat sideways in terms of highs but this week it strengthened and went up at the right end of the chart price is above upper boundary line it is over extended to the upside so we will not look for any long trade right now and as price is in uptrend we are not going to look for any short trade either let's look at sing dollar this week sing dollar tried to go to the value area and then tilted down again on this magenta color candle sing dollar gave a go with flow trend following short trade signal using real time chart one could enter short somewhere in the middle of the candle and since then for two days price went down as of friday on this candle the trade had significant profit and one could book profit without holding it across the weekend let's look at australia dollar australia dollar also had a very profitable swing trade this week as of the cyan color candle it had a valid go with flow long trade setup one could take the trade either in the middle of the candle using real time fine tune chart or at the end of the candle using end of day chart stop for the swing trade would be just below recent low that was never hit instead price went up and on friday hit the upper boundary that is the profit target for swing long trade and the trade would be exited with profit let's now move to usa market and look at the broad market etfs we start with spy this week spi came to the yellow direction line made a bullish shape candle and since then went up it ended the week with a new all time high in the daily chart we can see spy is overbought indicated by the dot on top of the candle the week ended in the backdrop chart with cyan color that is also bullish spy is already overbought as of friday's market close so we will not try to take any long position right now and because it is going up we will not take any short trade either if next week spy tilts down comes back inside the watermark resistance level then it may give us a box short trade opportunity provided all the conditions of the unambiguous checklist are met let us look at dia dow jones industrial average chart is also similar to spy it made a bullish shape candle and since then went up as of friday's close it made a new all time high at the right side dia is overbought as indicated by the stretch signal on top of the candle in the weekly backdrop template dia ended the week with cyan that is bullish color candle at the right edge because price is already overbought we are not going to take any long trade right now and because it is going up we are not going to take any short trade either in case of dia even if price came back inside the watermark resistance level we will not think of taking any short trade because it would be very close to the memory support line let's look at qqq for some time qqq was weaker than spy and dia that was indicated by the downward sloping candle chart this week as spy and dia went up so did qqq it strongly went up however it couldn't make a new all time high unlike dia and spy at the right edge qqq is still overbought indicated by the dot on top of the candle so we will not be taking any long trade right now and there is no valid q short trade setup so we will not be taking any short trade either next week if qqq 
goes to the resistance line and tilts down from there it may give us a box short trade opportunity provided all the conditions of the unambiguous checklist are met let's look at the last etf iwm we can see from the weekly chart that it is still moving sideways same as we had discussed in the last weekly roundup it couldn't make a new all time high so it is weaker than spy and dia as of friday's close price is not overbought because we don't see any stretch dot on top of friday's candle next week if price tilts down then it may give us a sideways market box short trade opportunity now we will look at usa broad market internals sector and industry analysis using graphs and ranking table every week we look at broad market internals using nasdaq composite index on the left hand side and nyse composite index on the right hand side both using weekly charts because it is using composite indices and weekly charts this analysis is to be used for longer term investment it is not to be used for swing trading and certainly not for day trading last week we had changed the broad market internal outlook to neutral because we saw that the nasdaq was moving sideways to slightly downward and nyse was moving sideways however this week nasdaq sharply went up so did nyse in view of that we have changed our indices outlook back to bullish if we look at the internals that is the new high lows advanced decline and up down volume for both nasdaq and nyse we see that though nasdaq sharply went up two of the nasdaq internals actually declined that is advanced decline and up down volume only the new high low went up for nasdaq whereas for nyse all the three internals went up so we can see that nyse internals are very strong this week whereas nasdaq internals are mixed still all the nasdaq internals and all the nyse internals ended positive so we say in summary that the indices themselves are now bullish in the weekly chart internals are weak because they couldn't surpass previous highs and for this particular week the internals are bullish let's now move to sector analysis every week we analyze 10 broad market sectors performance across 3 weeks the red bar indicates performance of the current week blue bar represents the performance of one week prior to the red bar and green bar represents the performance of two weeks prior to the blue bar together they constitute four weeks or about one months of performance In this week, eight of the ten sectors gained, displaying overall market strength. Technology is the clear winner, making up for its lagging for the past several weeks. It had the largest gain in the current week. If we look at industrials, two weeks ago we saw that several industrials improved in rank. and if that happens we can anticipate that in subsequent weeks it will be one of the top performers last week it was one of the best performers and this week it strengthened further showing again the value of studying the rank improving industries every week financials is the only sector that is now positive for all the three review periods in fact it is now positive for at least four successive weeks so financials had been strong some of the banks started 
announcing earnings this week and after the earnings also financials continues to be strong among the decliners we see that telecom and non cyclicals are now down for all the three review periods both are considered to be defensive sectors telecom is now lagging for many months when telecom starts to go up using this sector analysis and our industry analysis we will be able to catch the bottom of the stocks in this sector let's now move to industry analysis we are looking at the best performing industries of this week renewable energy equipment is the top performer looking back can you now see that through this industry analysis in the weekly market roundups combining q edge q vital and q global you could catch the very bottom of fast solar when others probably never thought that it is going to go up since we identified this on 27th april fast solar has gone up by more than 45% as of today in two and a half months this 360 degrees analysis technique is very useful for long term investing likewise in this case of fast solar and also useful for swing trading let us have a look at the community post where we shared the fast solar trade idea on 27th april This is the trade idea on fast solar that was published at that time the fast solar chart looked like this in the weekly chart it had gone up from the false downside breakout at the watermark support level displaying a bull release signal the weekly candle color was cyan that is bullish in the daily chart at that time it had gone up after making a higher low and the move was accompanied by very high activity let's have a look at fast solar as of today this is the chart of fast solar as of market close 15 july 2017 we had shared the long idea in fast solar around this time since then fast solar strongly went up giving us significant profit in last two and a half months this is one of the typical examples where we use sector industry analysis using q edge chart analysis using q global and fundamental analysis using q vital to catch the very bottom of a fundamentally strong stock and we catch it just as it starts to go up in the traders community we have many such examples let's return back to industry analysis if we look at gold mining last week gold mining was among the best ranked improvers based on that we would expect that gold could be one of the best performers this week and that came to be true qh rank improvement study technique paid handsomely again like we did for fast solar what about gold miners do you know which are the fundamentally strongest stocks in the gold mining industry in the usa let us use q vital fundamental analysis to find that out here we are looking at q vital fundamental analysis on the root stock hmy that is harmony gold mining company limited we are looking at 25 of its peers in the same industry group we can instantly see from the color coding that hmy has moderate earnings quality in terms of relative value compared to its industry peers it has the best possible score that is 100 in terms of intrinsic value it again has the best possible score of 100 and on top of that it has a high short squeeze potential again with the best possible score of 100 also from eve ebitda and pe we can see 
that the stock is attractively priced. Looking at the dividend yield score, we see that it pays very nice dividend compared to its peers. We have only one other stock that is paying higher dividend than HMY. So in summary, in terms of fundamentals, we see that it has good earnings quality. It has optimally priced. It has a potential for short squeeze and it also pays some dividend. So fundamentally speaking, HMY seems to be one of the strongest gold mining stocks in the USA market. Let's look at HMY's chart using Q Global. This is the chart of HMY. We can see the weekly candle ended with cyan color that is bullish. It also displayed a bull release signal, the up arrow. In the daily chart, we see that after a sharp drop, HMY has stabilized for last few days. It has created a higher low that is indicated by the memory support line. As of Friday's market close, it has a cyan color candle. So it seems to meet all the requirements of go with flow, swing long trade setup. In summary, HMY is in an industry that is gaining strength, that is gold mining. Its fundamentals are strong and technically also the chart is showing that it may go up. This is the 360 degree analysis that we use using Q systems to find optimum trading opportunity. You may keep an eye on HMY in the coming week. We go back to industry analysis. We went through the five days best performing industries. Let's now look at the five days worst performing industries. This week, we see the worst performers are spread across diverse industries. There is no visible pattern. Apparel retailers is one of the worst performers this week. They were among the worst rank decliners last week. So again, studying the rank decliners could help us anticipate that apparel retailers will go down this week. And that came true. We had discussed several fundamentally strong stocks in the apparel industries like L Brands. And we had also shared a blog on L Brands earlier explaining the potential for a long trade in that stock. L Brands actually went up and gave some handsome profit in last two days. This was a long trade taken using Q bounds trade technique. Let us have a look at the LB charts to explain the trade. In Q technique, bounds trade setup is an exhaustion based trade setup. Bounds trade setup is the only trade setup where we can make the decision based on only daily chart. We don't need to look at the weekly chart. LB dropped suddenly with very high activity for several days. It came to the watermark support level, tried to go down, but tilted back up. Because it was dropping suddenly with extreme activity and it was near an established support line, on this yellow candle, all the unambiguous checklist conditions for bound trade setup was met. So one could take a long position in LB either using stock or in these situations, it is also very profitable to take the long position using short put vertical. For next two days, price went up and by Friday's close, the short put vertical will be very profitable. Let us go back to industry analysis again. So we studied the five days worst performing industries. Next, we will study the best rank improving industries of this week. This week, the rank improvers are spread across diverse industries. There are two auto related industries, automobiles and automobile parts, both of which improved rank significantly. Let's have a look at Ford company. 
it gave us an easy go with flow long swing trade opportunity this week we are looking at four using daily hop on template as of monday we can see that price was at pendulum low indicated by the thumbs up signal it already had higher lows indicated by the memory support line it had higher high as well so on this cyan candle all the requirements of go with flow long swing trade opportunity was met one could take a long at the end of the cyan candle putting stop just below the recent low in this case one could put it below the memory support line profit target would be at the upper boundary line which was hit on friday price was already overbought as shown by the dots on top of the candle so the swing long position in ford will be closed at the end of friday with profit we we'll go back to industry analysis let us look at the industries with biggest rank declines in terms of the decliners we see that footwear had a very big decline it was the very best ranker with rank 1 last week and now it dropped to 94 rank that's a big drop and one of the footwear companies skx that is skechers dropped very nicely from watermark resistance after showing bearish headwind using qh you can look at industry analysis every day in real time so you could have seen that footwear was declining in rank and you could probably take a short trade in skx before anybody else let's have a look at the skx through q global technical charts here we are looking at skechers skx with daily hop on template we can see that price tried to come to the watermark resistance level it was overbought and then it displayed a bearish headwind signal and since then price dropped very nicely so this was a very profitable headwind short trade headwind is the reversal trade setup for swing trading where it tries to catch the very top of a market move this was also happening when the industry was declining in rank so we could use that information to take the short trade in sketchers more confidently let's go back to industry analysis we have now looked at the best performing industries worst performing industries as well as biggest rank improving and biggest rank declining industries let's now have a look at the qa industry ranking table If you go to our home page www.superiorprofit.co go to home menu and click on sector industry you will find the qh sector and industry analysis here the ranking and heat map table is provided for the 10 sectors and 160 industry groups across 12 monthly periods for more accuracy you may use the qh desktop version which provides you the up to date ranking and heat map table every time you open the tool let us use qh desktop version to see which industries are gaining strength and which industries are declining we are looking at the sector heat map and ranking table of the 10 broad market sectors using qh we see that in the desktop version we have the performance across last 12 monthly periods and also more up to date data across last 10 days and last 5 days we can see that telecom is continuing to be one of the worst performers when telecom starts to go up its rank will start to improve and the color will also start to change from magenta to cyan and by watching that we will be ready to take the long position in the telecom sector companies at the very low price we will also use q vital to select the fundamentally strongest company in the telecom sector to take long at that time 
Let's look at the QH industry ranking and heat map table. In the desktop version of QH industry analysis, we can see that we not only have the heat map and ranking table over 12 monthly review periods, we have more granular data over last 10 days, five days, two days, and even over the last one day. Using this, we can precisely identify the turning points in the industries. Using this desktop version, let us see over five days, which were the strongest industry groups. We can do that by sorting the table on the five days column, from smallest to largest. By doing that, we see that renewable energy was strong and it continues to be strong. Over the five day period, it is ranking one and over one day period, it is ranking one again. We already discussed about first solar where we could catch the very bottom of the stock. The other interesting industry we see is coal, which was strong long time ago then declined in rank in the middle and in the recent period, it is starting to show signs of strength. Over five days period, it is actually the second strongest industry. There were in fact several profitable trades in coal that we could take by combining this industry analysis information with Q Global technical analysis. Let us have a look at one of the stocks in coal industry that may have a long trade opportunity right now. We are looking at the coal stock NRP using at a glance template that is the weekly backdrop template on the left hand side and daily hop on template on the right hand side. We see that after a significant drop this week NRP closed with a cyan that is bullish color candle and it also displayed a bull release signal that is the up arrow. In the daily chart we see that it was hovering around the watermark support level for some time then it displayed a cyan color that is bullish flow color candle next day was a bullish shape candle Thursday and on Friday it broke out of the memory resistance line. If somebody was watching NRP, one could enter long in NRP on Friday using real time fine tune chart somewhere in the middle of the candle. By end of Friday, he will already have some profit. The stop for a swing trade could be put just below the recent low and one could try to book profit somewhere near the upper boundary and the next target will be near the white direction line. If coal continues to become stronger, then looking at the weekly chart, we see that there may be significant profit potential in this long term. This is again another example where by looking at industry analysis and technical analysis, we could find a trade right at the point it was breaking out from a base. What about its fundamental? Let us use Q Vital to check that out. Here we are looking at NRP that is natural resource partners and 15 of its industry group peers. Using the color coding, we can instantly see that NRP's earnings quality is very strong relative to its industry peers. It has a score of 100. That is the best possible score in terms of internal value. Also, it has the best possible score of 100. On top of that, it has a short squeeze potential. So this is one stock where industry strength is in favor of taking a long trade. Technical chart is showing that it is breaking out of a base and fundamentally also it is pretty strong. Let us close today with one last stock that is cake. Let's start with its fundamental analysis. Here is cake that is cheesecake factory and 25 of its peers using Q Vital. We can again instantly just by using the color code 
see that in terms of earnings quality, it has a score of 100. That is the best possible score. In terms of relative value, it is strong again, indicated by the blue color. In terms of internal value also, it is strong. We can see the same valuation strength by looking at EV EBITDA and PE score. So fundamentally, we can see compared to its industry peers, Cake, that is Cheesecake Factory, a quite well-known company in the US, is one of the strongest. What about its technical chart? Let's use Q Global to analyze that. We are looking now at Cheesecake Factory using weekly chart on the left-hand side and daily chart on the right-hand side. In the weekly chart, we see that Cheesecake Factory dropped a lot it came right to the watermark support level and it ended the week with a neutral, that is yellow backdrop color candle. In the daily chart, we see the same drop. At the right edge, the stock was forming a base. On Friday, it tried to go up, but it ended the day with an upper tail. On Monday, if the stock starts to go up, that may be a low risk opportunity of entering long in Cheesecake Factory. You may use QH to check out the strength of this company's industry, that is restaurant industry. And if industry also shows strength, then you will be able to combine the three factors together again. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for joining and I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.